What's going on, legend and criminal justice here? And yes, guys and girls, we have yet received another update from Rockstar for GT5. We are now on version, I believe it's 2699.1. 2699.16. So uh, if your game is not firing up through LSP4 or your GT5, I'm going to show you how to fix that. So for, before we do anything at all, let me close out of these directories and we're going to work with Steam users first. Epic users, actually let me do Epics first because Steam takes a little longer. Epic users, this is what you're going to do. Okay, so what we're going to do is I'm going to go to my Epics game launcher. Alright, I'm going to go to my Epics game launcher. I'm going to pull it over here. And I'm just going to quick launch the GT5 right here. I'm going to quick launch it. All right, and we're going to see uh, what happens. Mine probably should work because I don't have any mods installed on this one, so mine's probably going to fire up. Um, however, if it doesn't, I'll sh I'm still going to show you guys how to revert back. I'm going to show you how to revert back to 2699. All right, so mine's probably going to fire up. Um, but we shall see. We shall see. And Steam, hang tight. I'm going to get to you guys. you alls Showing you guys how to revert your game takes a little bit longer, so I'm going to get to Epics first because theirs is not as... Okay, so mine's working. Um, mine's mine's working, and I, I knew it was going to um, because uh, there's no mods in that one. So uh, let me go ahead and end that. Let me end my GT5. All right, so uh, Epic users, pull up your main directories. And in your main directory, you're going to notice that you have 2699.16. Okay. Now, if your game's not firing up and you have mods installed, um, this is what you want to do. Now, for those who watched my how to back up your game version uh, a few months back, the, ones that, the one that we did back then, um, you should have two files backed up. Um, right here for epics okay you should have a gt5.exe and a play gt5 okay so all you're gonna do is grab those I'm gonna pull this to my desktop I'm gonna go ahead and grab my steam while I'm at it and pull that one out as well all right let's go ahead and pull those out and bring these up here not that okay there you go so epic users now I'm not going to throw mine in here just yet because I, I need to put mods in first before I do that so Epic users, you're going to open up that um, that backup file. Now, if you do not have these backup files, okay, if you do not have these backup files, okay, all you have to do is go into your um, your pathway where your GT5 directory is. So, for example, Epic users, you are going to go to, um, let's go back again. You're going to go to this PC then whatever hard drive you installed your GT5 on and then it's going to be right here or in an Epic's game folder or something like that okay now if you have other copies of GT5 that were renamed to something else then you can pull those two files from those other copies and I'm going to show you what I mean so this file right here is the one that's available to play so this GT5 right if I open that up and I highlight that exe it's going to say 2699.16 now if I go back and go to the one here that says not modded and then I go down and highlight it this one's going to say 2699 so you can actually if you have other copies of GT5 and you do not have these backup files here on my right that I'm showing you right here you can go to one of them other copies okay as long as they haven't been updated you can go to them other copies and highlight these two files and just right click and copy right right click and copy and then go into a folder or your desktop or something then left click right click and paste and that will paste those two files okay now with that out of the way with that out of the way epic users go ahead and open up your main game directory let me get this closed out um and this is what you want to do so in your main directory where it says 2699.16 you're going to open up your backup epics files, the one that I just showed you how to copy. Okay, and that should be 2699. You're going to grab both of these files right here. You're going to pull them into your main directory just like this. You're going to drop them in, 
and you're going to replace the two files okay now like i said i'm not going to do it because i don't have any mods installed yet mine's working fine there's no need for me to do that just grab those two files pull it in right here to the buffer zone don't highlight anything just bring it in here drop it and then replace the two files epics you are good to go your game should be firing up all right so with that out of the way let me get rid of that and sorry for the background noise guys i have a very noisy neighbor and they just talk so loud it's hard for me to be in the same room when they're when they're here so it's all i can do is get this video without listening talk listen guys okay you hear that yeah <laughs> Uh, okay, so Steam users, you are up next. Steam users, so let's go ahead and launch our Rage Steam. Epic users, you are done. You can play as your D5, you are done. Steam users, go ahead and click on your Rage plugin hook, okay? And we're probably going to get an error message. I'm going to as well because I have... Um, because I, I do have mods installed into this directory. Uh, Steam users, you can do the same thing. If you do not have those four files backed up, you can go into another copy of your GT5 and highlight those four copies. Copy and paste. Now, if you're getting this right here, uh, we're just going to click no. All right, and I'm going to close out of this. Steam users, open up your main directory, okay? And open, uh, you should have that those backup Steam files, which should be these four right here. You should have... The GTA5.exe, which is $26.99. The GTA5 Language Select. The GTA5 Launcher. And the Play GT 5 Steve, you need to have four files. These four files right here, okay? And they need to be from the version $26.99. Now, again, if you do not have these four files, go back to the pathway where you installed your GT 5 okay? So I'm going to go back. And if you have multiple copies like I do of GT 5 and they have not yet been updated, you can go to one of them other copies. And if you scroll down... You will see $26.99. All you have to do is highlight these copies by going like this. Highlight. Hold down your control key. Highlight. Highlight that one. Scroll down and highlight your Play GT5. Then right click. Click copy. And then paste them somewhere. Right. You can paste them on your desktop. Uh, left click. Right click. And then paste. And then you have the four files. And then what you want to do is go back to your directory that's been updated. Okay. Go back to your directory that's been updated. The one that is for version, assist version 2699.16. This is the one we want, okay? So grab those four files. I just showed you how to back up. Grab those four files, okay? And your EXE should say 2699. The one that you backed up, the one you just copied should say 2699. See that? You're going to grab these four files, okay? Actually, let's do this first, guys. Hold off on that. Let's close that. Close your main directory and click on your Rage plugin hook and immediately hold down your left shift key. I'm going to show you guys something. Because if you did, in fact, back up the Rage, there's another way you can revert as well, okay? So we're going to go over to Game Settings once this pops up. Going to go to Revert Game Version, okay? And you're going to click Revert, all right? And then you want to click Yes, all right? And this is now going to revert your game back to 2699. Now, if this doesn't work, we will then drop those four files. Okay, we'll drop it then. I forgot to mention that part, guys, but that's that's how we're going to do it. Uh, we're going to revert back through Rage. And and lately, for the last handful of updates, the, the Rage revert, the, the reverting through Rage has not been working, which is why we've been backing up those four files, okay? So... Um, this might take a minute, ladies and gentlemen. It's just, it's just storing a backup, and, and that, that way it can revert your game. Uh, so it's taking a minute. There it goes. It's all done. And you will now probably see two different versions of GT5, or you might only see one. Uh, but as you can see, uh, okay, so right up, here, right up here, guys, is the current supported version. This says upgrade. The next one is 2699, which says active, okay? So now if we close out of this, if we... Just exit out and then go back into our main game directory, Steam users. Okay? Your game version should now be at $26.99. And it is. So we're going to try and launch it like this. Now, if it doesn't work like this, we will drop the four files that I showed you how to copy. Okay? So let's close out of our main directory and let's click on Rage. And even if it does work, guys, uh, for me, I will still show you how to uh, drop those files. I'll still show you how to do that. Okay? 
But so far, so good. Looks like it's working. Maybe, possibly. I don't know yet. We'll see. We shall see. We shall see. But I hope you guys are having an amazing day, man. I hope you guys are happy and where you want to be in life. And that you are in a consistent prayer with God or some kind of meditation. As it is always good to do that. All right. So there it goes, guys. There goes our, our rage right there. And it is firing okay, up. Okay, guys and girls. So as you guys can see, reverting through rage did work for me. It might have worked for you. If it worked for you, great. Go ahead and play your game. Uh, the lag, guys, was not caused from um, my game. My game is great. It's something to do with my OBS. I have no idea what it is. I've been troubleshooting for seven days, and I don't know how to get it figured out. Anyway, if there's anybody out there that has specialties in OBS, please let me know, as I would love to. Um, it keeps telling me my encoder is overloading, and I need to consider lowering my video settings or um, use a faster encoder, so whatever that means. Um, so there's anybody out there that has OBS specialties, please let me know, I would love to get with you and uh, help me fix my OBS because it's driving me absolutely berserk. With that aside, um, so what you wanna do guys, if that did not work for you, go ahead and open up those four files that I showed you guys how to copy, and if you highlight that gtvibe.exe, the one that I showed you how to copy, it should say 2699, okay? Now you wanna highlight the four files that we copied, Okay, and you want to pull these into your Steam main directory. Okay, I'm not going to drop them because my game's working. All right, and you want to drop them in, and you want to replace the four files in the destination. Okay, so highlight them, drag them, drop them in the in the in the main directory, replace the four files in the destination. That is pretty much it, guys and girls. There's really nothing else I can show you with that. I hope that fixed your game. Um, if if it didn't. Um, there's really nothing else I can do for you. You'll just have to wait till LSP for our Rage Plugin Hook and Script Hook V updates. And we do not know. Please do not ask, guys. Because we do not know when that's going to happen. We're just the guys that produce the goods. We're not the developers. That is questions you would have to ask the developers themselves. Uh, with that said, everyone, subscribe if you're new. Smash that like button for me. Click that bell and click all. So you never miss any future content or possible live streams. If I could ever get this OBS figured out. Until next time, guys and girls, stay safe, stay awesome. God bless you all, and be humble. I will see you all in the next video.